Let's take a moment to look through the card hop settings. You can access them in the lower right corner with the gear icon. I'll go ahead and tap on it now. And there are the settings. At the top, you get to pick which card you use as your business card and make adjustments to your business card settings. You can also do that in the business card screen when you turn your phone on the side. There's a whole separate video all about that business card. The theme has three different options. By default, it is a dark list and light contact cards. I really like the way that looks, but if you want all dark, you can do that. Or if you want all light, you can do that as well. But I'll go ahead and switch it back to the default. Scrolling down further, there's some general settings. You can tell Card Hop how to sort, whether it be by last name or first name. You can tell it which name to display and, and in which order. I like to have it first name and then last name. You can choose what address format. I've got mine on the United States, but as you can see, there's a lot of different um, address formats available. You can also pick your default country code and account, and accounts are covered in a separate video. With directories, you can ask Cardhop to search for contacts on Google Contacts, G Suite, or Exchange Global address lists. There's a separate settings screen for notifications. I like birthday notifications, so I turn those on. And Siri Shortcuts is covered in a separate video. The Detect Clipboard Content button is very handy. If you have it turned on, when you open up Card Hop, it's going to detect if you've got an address or a phone number in your clipboard and help you put that with the proper contact. And also, you can automatically activate the parser when you turn the app on. I love that function. I have it turned on, so as soon as I open Card Hop, I can get cracking. Continuing down further, there's a whole set of settings about your actions. Uh, you can go in and set your default quick actions here, which will be set globally, although you can also set them per contact as explained in another video. You can also set the default keyboard actions that appear at the bottom of the search bar. And you can pick the default applications that work with Card Hop. So if you'd rather have it open Safari or Chrome or 1Password, you can do that. You can also pick your default mail application and maps application and Twitter application. And finally, there's some advanced tools. You can show parser suggestions. I like to keep that turned on. It helps me learn and use the app better. And you can choose whether or not to share the photos and notes when you're sharing a V card. And if you need to export all your contacts, there's a button for that too. So that's a brief uh, rundown of all the settings in Card Hop to help you get the most out of the application.